Well, good day, everyone. Recently, a student of mine presented me with a mainspring barrel arbor, which had the ratchet wheel screw broken off inside of it. And being a watch that we could not easily obtain parts for, um, the only option to continue on with this project was to extract the, the broken off screw from inside the barrel arbor. So the way I go about removing the screw in a situation like this is drilling it out and uh, all drilling processes in the lathe. Start with using a graver and cutting a perfect center or a female center to uh, the remnant of the screw. Now you'll notice a couple things here, one of which is I am spinning the lathe in reverse. The reason why I'm doing that is because hopefully in the process, and I've had this happen before, that what during the cutting part of using the graver and striking that perfect center, sometimes the screw itself will back out of the arbor and I don't have to actually go through the, the drilling process. Other times, sometimes during the drilling process, um, the screw itself will back out. So that's the hope is that before we get all the way to the end that the screw will back out and I don't have to go through the whole process. Now previously I've made a video on making drill bits out of carbide dental burrs and I've done the same thing here only this time I've made it I've made the drill bit to cut in reverse there again with the hopes that this will cause the screw uh, to back out now it should be noted that the diameter of the drill bit should be small enough that when we drill we're not um, cutting into the internal threads inside the barrel arbor, but we're only uh, drilling into the, the remnant of the screw itself. And that diameter is going to be variable depending on the size of barrel arbor, the size of screw, that sort of thing. But for reasons that we'll discover later, the screw did not back out and we drilled all the way through it and in the end I had to take a five-sided cutting brooch and insert into the hole that I just drilled and back the thread out and it's at this point I discovered that the reason why the screw never backed out was is because it was a reverse threaded screw. Now if I would have done this whole process with the lathe spinning normally, spinning forward instead of reverse, it's very likely um, it would have backed out. It came out relatively easy. All we had to do was turn it in the right direction. It also explains why the student broke the screw off. He was very likely trying to unscrew the ratchet wheel screw and in reality was was tightening it into the arbor and snapped off the head anyway i hope that's helpful to you thanks for watching i'll catch you on the next video